Judaism, Christianity and Islam. Build bridges. Still the same Jehovah God Allah. Or build walls. Make him sad and make him tear and make him tears and question mark. Message to the Jews. Aren't Palestinians your brothers and also descendants of Abraham via Hagar and Ishmael? Hagar, as told in Genesis chapter 21, was an Egyptian slave to Abraham with whom she had a son, Ishmael. Abraham's wife became jealous and asked her husband to banish them to the desert, sent away with only small rations of food and water. Hagar and Ishmael were miraculously saved from dying of first by an angel. This is another irony in modern politics. The Palestinians, in truth, are blood brothers or cousins of the modern Israelites. They are all descendants of Abraham and Ishmael, so to speak. Question. What anti-Semite dares to attack the Jews? Answer. It is my 1.2% of DNA, Ashkenazi Jews, that is speaking to you. I am a descendant of Abraham, King David, King Solomon too. It is my heritage. Often it is not about quantity. It is about quality. Message to Muslims, why are you not listening to Prophet Muhammad and his wisdom? Wasn't it a Christian king who saved Prophet Muhammad from death? Quote from the book, Wisdom of the Sages and Ordinary Folks from Around the World. The difference between Muslim and the Christian is like a line in the sand. One of my Persian friends at work, lunch buddy, told me that the Prophet Muhammad was running away from prosecution and escaped to Morocco. And the Christian king asked the prophet about his religion. After listening, the king drew a line in the sand and said, The difference between you and us is like this line in the sand. He also allowed shelter for prophet Muhammad. This is a very inconvenient fact for many fundamentalists. I wish more people would look at our common principles based on Ten Commandments, rather than always trying to find what is different between us. Well, the differences are enriching everybody who has an open mind and heart to listen. I understand that I may upset many religious leaders who want to isolate their herd from the outside evil. However, there is a Polish saying, the true nobility is not afraid of the truth, nor anything else. Message number two to Muslims. Why are you not listening to your enlightened elderly? Quote from the book, Wisdom of the Sages and Ordinary Folks from Around the World. Will we argue about one prophet? My parents met a person. I believe at one of the lake beaches in Poland for the first time who was a training pilot in Libya 
in the 1970s and beginning of the 1980s. His name was Roman, Joseph Juzek. And he told us the following story. When Pope John Paul II visited some neighboring country to Libya or in proximity, his Muslim friend really started packing for the journey to see the Pope. Roman Joseph asked, why do you want to see the Pope? He is not head of your religion. His wise friend replied, without any hesitation. Oh, Christians recognize Abraham, Jacob, Moses, David, Solomon, Jesus, etc., etc. We Muslims, in addition, have our prophet Muhammad. Dear friend, will we argue about one prophet? I was a little kid listening to that story. Man, this was a really, truly powerful message. Message number three to Muslims and everybody else. Quote from the book, Wisdom of the Sages and Ordinary Folks from Around the World. Do not tell me how much you know. Tell me how much you traveled. Words spoken supposedly by the Prophet Muhammad carry the same powerful message, no matter if you are Muslim, Jew, Christian or any other religion or do not believe at all. It's not about the messenger. It's all about the message and open eyes that look at it. Message to Christians. Why are you cutting down, trimming down as to what Jesus brought to the world? Why are you rejecting, killing anybody that thinks otherwise? Yes, the true meaning of an heretic, thinking otherwise, is thinking outside the box. While your thinking is not only inside the box, but your box is becoming smaller and smaller. Do you think it is pleasing the Almighty? The Almighty gave us entire apple, but you only want to eat the seeds and the shells, seed pockets inside? Why discarding Apple Nutria's body? What about Dead Sea Scrolls? For example, Gospel of Thomas and Gospel of Mary Magdalene. If you are not familiar, then please watch PBS documentary From Jesus to Christ. In my humble opinion, it is best objective, unbiased documentary by experts and scientists. It's diverse, believers and non-believers. Also, it's available on YouTube. Major Wisdom. Please check my video titled Alien Theory of Everything by Marek Piotr Skoczylas. Section about circle of life and the stars cycling and the recycling process. Then read how it sounds in the light of the gospel here. What is the matter? Will it last forever? The teacher answered, all that is born, all that is created, all the elements of nature are interwoven and united with each other. All that is composed shall be decomposed. Everything returns to its roots. Matter returns to the origins of matter. Those heavy ears, let them hear. Gospel of Mary Magdalene on speaking the truth and purity from the heart, the inside, like an innocent child, without tribalism, 
and external contaminated influences. If you bring forth what is within you, what you bring forth will save you. If you do not bring forth what is within you, what you do not bring forth will destroy you. Gospel of Thomas Man and a woman are equal partners and only through this equal partnership they shall enter the kingdom of God. They said to him, Shall we then, being children, enter the kingdom? Jesus said to them, When you make the two one, and when you make the inner and the outer, and the outer as the inner, and the above as below, and when you make the male and the female into a single one, so that the male will not be male and the female not be female, when you make eyes in the place of an eye, and the hand in the place of a hand, and the foot in the place of a foot, and an image in the place of an image, then shall you enter the kingdom. Gospel of Thomas. The wisdom is often hidden from natural fools or chimpanzees for the purpose that they do not get agitated and harmful to everybody else or everyone else. While open-minded and pure in spirit can find it. Jesus said, I am the light that is above them all. I am the all attained to me. Cleave a piece of wood, I am there. Lift up the stone and you will find me there. Gospel of Thomas.